Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 29. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about some semantic tags for your website layout. So uh, I might have mentioned some of these tags in previous videos, but I didn't really explain all too well what they do. Um, now, something else that I've done over the past couple of tutorials is I show you whenever you wanna create a block on your website, you can use a div tag or a division, right? Now, div tags are great, but the problem is that they aren't semantic. They don't explain what information goes inside of them, right? So um, this is was very confusing before the days of HTML5. People would throw div tags pretty much everywhere. And then you don't know if this div tag is meant to be a header, if it's meant to be a footer, if it's meant to be a side section of your website or something like that. So yeah, uh, using a div tag, uh, you know, people would go around using div tags when, um, well, pretty much everywhere, but it just didn't explain what was inside of it. So instead of just using div tags in HTML5, the guys who created the language decided, hey, let's give web developers a bunch of tags that are probably gonna be a lot more semantic, carry a lot more meaning, and they gave us a few of these extra tags, which I'm gonna show to you guys now. And instead of typing in the, them in here, let me just show them to you in an image real quick. So I created a, a, a layout here and, uh, Basically, if you take a look at uh, one of these images, you'll understand why we have these tags, right? So the first tag is the header tag. And the reason why we have that is because we often have headers on a website. If you take a look at any website in the world, it more than likely has a header. So it made sense to have a new tag as a header tag. Then pretty much every single website in the world, again, has a navigation. So it made sense to give us a nav tag. And sometimes the nav is in the heading of our website, but that isn't always the case. Sometimes the nav moves to be in the side section of our website. Um, and sometimes we don't even have a side section. So in that case, the nav is up here in the top, but there's no side tag. Or yeah, we don't need the side tag, right? But uh, obviously it made sense to have header and nav tags because I mean, we pretty much use them everywhere. Same thing with a footer. Uh, so yeah, like all of these layouts, I have a footer in, uh, well, in all of these layouts. So yeah, it made sense to have uh, a footer tag in HTML5. And then looking at the rest of these tags, we have a section, I have an article, so articles are maybe more for blog-based websites or news-based websites, whereas sections are, you know, just a bunch of sections on a website. You can have more than one section. Um, you more than likely will have more than one section on your website. Um, and then we have asides, right? So an aside is just maybe a sidebar on your website. And again, like I said, not everybody has a, a side section on the website. So sometimes you have a website layout that looks a little bit more like this. And sometimes you have a website layout that looks a little bit more like this where you do have the sidebar. Uh, so let's take a look at a real world example real quick, like YouTube. Uh, so I'm on my YouTube channel right now. And uh, pretty much everywhere across YouTube, we have this header bar and the header bar has uh, a navigation in it, um, albeit the navigation uh, comes to, to the side. Uh, we do have a navigation in the side or in our header bar. It's that little button, right? We've also got our logo, we've got our search uh, and a bunch of other things. So that's pretty much what goes in your header bar, right? Then uh, in the top of the site, you can see we've got a block that goes pretty much all the way across the top of the site. Um, and it has an image, it has, a bunch of links, so kind of like another navigation and stuff. But this over here we'd call a section, right? So that's one section of our website. Then looking below that, we've got another section with video. So again, that's another section. Um, I hate those birds. <laughs> okay, so yeah, looking below that, we have another section. Then we have uh, an aside, so uh, that aside is next to our main section. In fact, we've got three blocks in our aside, but I mean, you can just call this one side section or an aside, right? Then um, below that, we also have a footer, right? So uh, 
this is kind of like the way you need to start looking at websites as well if you want to develop websites it's just like looking at it and going okay that's the footer this is a section this is an aside this is another section that's the header and if you look at pretty much any website in the world if you look at facebook if you look at twitter i mean let's open up google real quick because that's not going to give away my personal information whereas facebook and twitter might um right so if you look at google real quick i mean you could call this a header that is a footer and this is a main section. So very, very simple layout. I mean, there's not much on this page, but if you search for something like, um, I don't know, drones, I just got a drone, so <laughs> I'm quite interested in drones, All right? So now we have, um, you know, a logo, uh, in the header, we've got the search in the header and all this stuff. So you can say that this is a header and inside of that header, we also have a navigation. So you can see that nav over here. Then we've got our section, uh, which has a bunch of different entries in that section. So these might all be an article, all right? And then if you scroll down, we also have a footer. So Google even follows that main layout. And sometimes depending on what you Google, like maybe you Google a celebrity, I don't know if I can think of one right now, uh, PewDiePie, right? If you Google a celebrity, usually you have a little side section over here as well. So uh, yeah, uh, Google also follows that layout of header, section, aside, and so on. And uh, that's just how you have to start looking at websites. So let's take a look at all of these tags. Uh, so the header tag is header. Um, again the body uh the sorry the nav tag is nav and sometimes that goes actually inside of the header like i said um, then we also have the aside um, and usually before the aside we have our main section and inside of our main section we might have an article or the article could be below the section depending on how you want to lay out your website. And then right at the bottom of the website, just before the closing tag of our footer, we usually have, uh, before the closing tag of our body, by the way, we usually have a footer, right? So now I've gone ahead and uh, placed all these tags within the body of our website. Um, and now this video was just to introduce you to all of these tags and explain why we have them. In the next videos, we are gonna be taking a look at creating a basic website layout using these tags. And it's not gonna be like creating a website from start to finish. That is gonna be a completely separate tutorial series on its own, and that tutorial series is coming. I know a lot of people ask for it. Uh, I will make one like that. But for now, uh, we're just gonna make a basic website layout, something like one of the images that I showed you guys. I don't know if we still have one of these open just a basic website layout like this. Um, so you guys get an idea of how to lay out your website and I'll see you guys next time. I just wanna send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design and web development and they'll teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field and they'll do it within 12 weeks. So check out their website, the link is in the description below and if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Special thanks to the guys whose names are on screen now. These guys contribute $5 or more on Patreon and I really appreciate that. Uh, while you're still here, there are a few other things that you can do to help out. So follow me on social media and check out some more of my content and I'll see you guys next time.